It's just been one of those weeks. As you'll see, there is no table here. Hey, Rue. So apparently our table is supposed to arrive at 8 a.m. tomorrow, and if you're new here, basically we live on, well, we live up a few flights of stairs, and the, rhubarb, the break dance broke. Anyway, the staircase is very steep and very narrow, and we had an issue getting this mirror up it, okay? The new table is, the new table is 100 kilograms. Are you having the time of your life? Was that fun? We do need to get new dining chairs as well, but we're gonna use these obviously for now until we find them, but this is where the table is going to live. We also have a new sofa coming, but that's not due until March, so I'll keep you updated on that one. Well, at least the first part's up the stairs. Okay, whilst they deal with the heavy shit, I'm just gonna make a smoothie. This, but with the coconut, is the best spread of all time. We have this gorgeous little smoothie with every powder I could find. I've got protein powder, super green powder, almond butter, collagen powder, <laughs> oat milk, bananas, frozen strawberries, frozen raspberries. And Rhubarb and I are gonna share some almond butter. Okay, if you have Botox done, you'll know there's this crazy phase where it's settling. Yeah, I'm in that phase, so my face looks crazy. It looks crazy and my hair is unwashed, so we're ignoring all of that. Um, hopefully next time I film, my face will look less insane. What? It doesn't look as big as it does it. It doesn't look as big, but actually I don't mind that. I was worried it would be too big and then it looks stupid. It's actually a perfect size for the space. I like this vein down the middle. Also, because it's marble condensation. It's not fog, Johnny. It too is called condensation. One of my favourite sweet treats of all time is a condensed milk coffee. Um, although I just realised I've run out of normal Tupperware, so I'm going to have to decant this into a bowl and cover it in the fridge. I also need to find out if I have a tin opener. I'm not sure if I do in this- oh, no I do. So when I lived with my old fat mates slash best friends, they put me onto this, which is funny because I'm the Asian one, but we went to a really bad habit where every morning we would just- Wait, do I- One thing you'll begin to learn about me is that I'm absolutely useless when it comes to anything where things have to fit into other things. Like, like a tin opener, opening a tin. Um, so yeah, anyway, every morning, me, all my old flatmates and I would get up, we would get our little espresso machines on, you get a little cup of ice, you put your coffee in it, and then you mix in the condensed milk. We were having this for breakfast every morning. And it's amazing that I didn't collapse on the sugar and the caffeine, but I always felt so good. It's the best thing. I can't decide whether I want to have it hot or cold today, but, I think the coffee machine's broken as well as the kettle. <laughs> there we go, fixed it. All we had to do was open and close that, obviously. Look. That 
is just... I'm just gonna scoop the leftovers into the coffee. Ooh. Anyway, so I'm doing a little bit of work on the newsletter today and then I have my hair appointment at 1.45 because I'm just kind of sick of being blonde now. My hair is very light. I feel like it ages me a bit. I think it's time to go back to my brown hair. Plus it's so fucking expensive to upkeep. I don't know. I don't know how anyone's doing it because I swear I get my hair done then two days later I'm like, wow, my roots are showing again. Which I guess is what I get for dyeing my hair a complete different color to its natural color, but still. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take rhubarb. I still can't decide what shade of brown to go. Uh, so there's a chance I'll get there and I'll panic and end up with the complete opposite to what I want. But let's cross that bridge when it comes to it. My sister's staying over tonight too, so I should probably clean up the guest room. Our old dining room table is currently under the bed of the guest room bed. Um, but it doesn't quite fit, so it's kind of just sticking out and I know my sister's gonna end up tripping over it or stubbing her toe on it or something, so that would be funny. We're also going to the Pelican later tonight. We're going for food and drink with friends. It's one of our favorite places. It's basically a pub, but it's really good pub food. It's in Notting Hill, they're dog friendly. So I'll probably, I mean, I reckon my hair will probably end up taking about three hours to do. So I might have to go straight from the hairdresser to the Pelican. I need to give my sister my keys. How am I gonna let my sister in? I also told myself I would film three different types of content today. Do you think that's gonna happen? I'm just gonna write my newsletter and mind my business and change my hair color, I think. hasn't settled and then I also forgot about my hair color so I looked in the mirror and I was like oh jump scare yeah anyway I'm going to LA for four days at the beginning of March for work which is really cool I'm actually so excited to film for this brand I think that's going to get me out of the rut I've been in and hopefully I can do some cool videos around how I pack for LA the products I'm taking I can take you guys with me just on the journey as always I'm gonna take you through the week with shots, backing music and stupid editing. It's you guys's, but it says you can microwave them, which is very good. Good morning. It is day. I don't know what day we're on for this vlog. This vlog was originally supposed to be two days and now, now it's spiraled. Anyway, my sister and her boyfriend have just left. I've just cleaned everything up because I'm an anal control freak. We have the dishwasher on. We have a candle burning. 
My hair is washed, so that's a start. My Botox is in the even crazier stage before it drops. I'm really fucking hoping it does drop. Normally it does, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I got more than I usually do. This is all the movement I currently have. So as you'll know, our table has arrived. We are still looking for the perfect dining chairs. We know the ones we want. They're stupidly They're stupid expensive. expensive. We don't wanna buy replicas. I mean, we could buy replicas, but I don't want to buy new replicas, if that makes sense. Ideally, we want the tulip chairs, but all of the ones available online either have silly cushion covers or like the colours of the cushions are stupid or we don't have enough because we need six. We also like the idea of wishbone chairs, but I don't think they're going to tuck under the table nicely. So anyway, we're about to go to Listen Grove to go to Alfie's Antique Markets and look in the shops there because last time we were there, somebody just had six tulip chairs out. The cushions were dirty but we can replace those. I need to learn to stop filming in the kitchen because there are too many noises going on. Anyway, I got this PR package today. How fun is this jumper? I did also get a cap that said Jeroboam on it. It's bright pink. Wait, let me go get it. Shout out to Novel Mart for the merch. They were just like, do you want something from our website? And they do loads of food and drink related stuff. And I thought, what sums me up nicely? I know, Char Seal and a Jeroboam, so. I'll be wearing these today. Um, what else is new? Both of my doctor's appointments got pushed back to next week, so I have no updates on that stuff. Hopefully I'll have an update by next week. Also, you know I've been having my skin issues. My skin has cleared up so well. Touch wood. I'm not having you guys evil eye me for bad skin again. But two things I introduced, a new probiotic and a vitamin D. I don't know whether it was just good timing or they, they're having a magic effect, but I think those two were the missing piece of the puzzle. I'm still getting my hormones looked at, but I've been so much more mindful about what I'm eating, the sort of recipes I'm having to support hormone health, the supplements I'm taking. I am just massively following traditional Chinese medicine at this point, and it seems to have worked. I mean, I never really got close enough on the camera for you to see how bad it was before, but, but basically every day I was just ending up with new painful lumps almost. They were sort of under the skin and they were constant and I could run my hands over my face and just feel new spots constantly appearing. Whereas right now, I think the redness has gone down. There's a little bit of scarring. I do think being more mindful of what I'm putting in my body in tandem with the treatments I was having, the peels and the lasers has really helped. So thank God I'm out of that. I can't remember if I told you guys about the leaking ceiling this week, but the kitchen ceiling basically flooded and that's not been fixed. So. I hope we're on the up. I'm gonna take you guys with me. We're going to do a little look around the antique stores. We're gonna see if there's anything decent. I mean, there probably won't be anything, but it's quite a nice walk for rhubarb. Get a bit of fresh air before I'm stuck in the rest of my Saturday doing work. Rhubarb is now gobbling outside. Ru, do you want a tripe stick? Do you want a tripe stick? Come on in. You can open the door. Come on, good girl. Come in. Come in, you can do it. Come on. Do you want to come get a tripe stick? You can do it. Wow, you're so smart. Good job. Oh, she wanted water now. I feel bad. Thing is, if I push the door shut in the bathroom, she can open the door to watch me pee, but she can't get through a gap this small when she wants some water. I'm going to take you guys into Rhubarb's cupboard to get her a tripe stick. I think I need to reorganize this. It's a tiny bit of a mess at the moment, but normally there's a little bit more law and order here. Um, but at the moment, I'm giving her these tripe sticks from Waitrose. Shout out Waitrose. Shout out Lily's Kitchen, because you seem to dominate much of this cupboard. Okay, does my smart girl want a tripe stick? See, she already knows to sit. She's so good. You're so smart. Yes, good girl. And I should probably take my recycling out because she can't get out the door. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm... There you go. Bye then. Also, I've had this one person consistently on TikTok for close to a year just leave me abusive racist comments. You know, at first I would entertain it and I would fight them in the comments. And then I realized it was the same person over and over because they used the same part in their username. So I would just report and block 
But then a month later, the same person would pop back up with some stupid shit. And the same things happened again this morning with the same username, just with a different few numbers at the end. Um, and because I'm petty, I am highly considering hiring a private investigator just to find out who this person is because they have been harassing me for close to a year. It also really chaps my ass that I get abused and I have to spend my own money trying to figure out who it is. I could report it to the police and I probably will just so it's locked down, but the last time I had this issue... Okay, I've rubber tribe stick and she's trying to get back in. Anyway, the last time I had this issue, the police did file it, but until anything more serious happened, obviously they can't do anything and my followers ended up finding out who it was. So shout out to you guys because you're the best. But I do think this time, you know, because my week has already been so bad, I just don't have time for it. And I'm willing to cough up the cash to shut up a racist. So stay tuned, let's see what happens. Something in your eye, rhubarb. You can't see. Do you have a good sleep? Morning. Morning. You know, every day I come on to vlog, I was hoping I'd look a little less insane, but the Botox just keeps going, so um I'm sorry. What am I doing today? I'm about to go to a reformer Pilates class. I go to the one in the Nobu Hotel at least, so one of my besties put me on it. I'm supposed to be going with her, but I think she might be severely hungover. I don't know if she's going to make it. We'll find out. So I'm doing a reformer Pilates session with her, and then I'll probably afterwards we'll either go for lunch or brunch. Um, her boyfriend is my boyfriend's best friend. So the four of us will probably end up somewhere. Mm. I've kind of cancelled all plans this weekend in general. I just not up for it. Um, I think sometimes you need to take that time for yourself. I wasn't up for anything heavy. The weather outside looks gorgeous today too, so I'm looking forward to having a really nice sunny day. Oh, I forgot about my toast. I'm at the end of the loaf. Look how fucking pathetic that piece of toast is. <laughs> Let's heat it back up. Anyway. Mm. So I'm gonna have my almond butter on toast. I'm going to make my condensed milk coffee. I'm gonna take all my random morning vitamins. So I'm doing vitamin D. Then I'm doing my hair, nail, and skin gummies. And then apparently I'm supposed to take these probiotics on an empty stomach, so I guess I'll do that later. You know, I'm still not quite used to the hair. <gasps> I'm down to my last three gummies. That is so sad. Really quite sad. You know, I really like these. Thanks, Beauty Pie. This is genuinely about to be the saddest piece of toast you've ever seen in your life. Um, I've got to leave in half an hour. I never know whether it's good to have a coffee before or after a workout. I'm sadly worried I might shit myself during the workout. I'm also still in pain from my PT session the other day. And I stupidly booked in for an upper body Pilates class, which is the only part of my body that's aching right now. There are so many holes in this toast. This is such a stupid idea. It's just all falling through. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys at Pilates. I literally hate wearing workout leggings without white socks pulled up, but then I have to wear special Pilates socks for this, so. And you know, it's one of those weird things I think about all the time. So obviously in the bag, I've got to have backup white socks to change into afterwards and a hat to hide my sweaty self.
time to edit this vlog, I am now running a bath. I'm not going to lie to you, I spent all afternoon basically just editing the YouTube. I haven't had a chance to watch since Pilates this morning. No judges, this is a judge reason. But just before I go, these are what I'm adding to my bath, because why not? Um, I'm doing my Espa Fitness Salts. These smell amazing, good for just muscle recovery. And I'm also going to try this liquid yoga bar soak. I was gifted this. It's supposed to be calming. It looks nice. This has been a very long vlog, I'm sorry. It's also just been a very long week. Um, I hope you guys have had a good week and it hasn't been as all over the place as mine. You've watched the end, thank you so much. Love you guys. Hopefully I will see you very soon for something equally as boring and mundane as my last three videos have been.